Hey everyone, Ave Bell here, and today we're going to be looking at Bandai's Dragon Star series, Ultra Instant Goku Sign. You can see on the package, it comes with a couple extra hands here. This is a mean looking Goku, I really do like this one. Let's keep turning it, just got a window. Oh, look at that beautiful picture. And if you look at the back, we see a couple more figures here. So for Series 15, we have Super Saiyan Gogeta, and he has a little halo ring around his head. Super Saiyan Vegeta, and Ultra Instant Goku sign. And for Series 16, we have Cooler Final Form, Bardock, and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Alright, so why don't we get him out of the package and take a closer look. Alright, well here's Goku out of the package. Now, the first appearance of Ultra Instinct Sign, in the anime anyway, was in the episode Goku Enkindled, The Awakened One's New Ultra Instinct. And in the manga, it was the chapter titled, Sign of Son Goku's Awakening. Now, I really like this Goku. I like the look on his face, and I like his hair. Uh, unlike usually when you see Goku, it's either up because of Super Saiyan form, or... It's that normal, you know, when he's in his base form. The black hair just goes over to the side with a couple out on the other. But I like this one because it kind of goes in all different directions. And I also like the way his clothes are ripped. I usually don't care about battle damage clothes, but on him I think it looks really good. Especially when you look around the waist. It has both the orange and the blue being ripped down. Let's talk about colors. Now he has a little bit of blue on him uh, around the waist. The wrists. Then he has a darker blue for the boots. He has his also blue on the belt here. You can see underneath the ripped clothes. And he has his, well, the bottom half of his orange gi. And then he has also on his boots a little bit of yellow going around. The little rope that's there. And then he has a line of red going. And also red around the outline of it. And on the bottom. Well, I guess it's actually orange, not red. Yeah, orange. All right, now also, if you look at his eyes, his eyes are actually silver. And you might not be able to see it, at least uh, in this video. His hair, it is black, but it actually has like this silver gloss put on it. Which, I really like that. Alright, so let's talk about some articulation with the guy. Now, for Goku, and well, most Dragon Star series, nothing is different. It's all the same areas you can move on just about all of them. Now, his head can go all the way around. He can move the head. He can move it down. But up, no. He, you can only get him to look straight. Uh, his neck areas should move a little. You get a little bit of, see that? But it's really not enough to say. And then if you look at his arms here, you can rotate those 360 degrees. And then also, you can lift it up. It's past 90. Put that back down. Oh, a little bit of lint on there. How that happened? All right. So then, right at the bicep, you can twist that fully. Then his arms are, or his elbow is double jointed. It's pretty good. Look at that, flexing and everything. Put that back straight. And you guys, hands. Those can go all the way around. And it has a little. Pelvis or pivot. Now it doesn't pivot much, you just get a little bit there. And then we go farther down, we got his waist right where the clothes are ripped. Goes fully around. And we got his legs. Now his legs, like most of them, uh, he can't go back. That's as far back as it will go. Forward, you can get. Not quite 90. Now, you can go outwards with them. You're not going to get a 180 out of it. 
kind of like a 90 degree. His knees are also double jointed. You can see right here and here. So, and that's a 90 degree bend. They'll spin all the way around, and there's a little bit of a pivot to them. Down, not up, but you can go down. And then you go a little bit to the side. All right, now he did come with an extra pair of hands. They're the semi-open, not all the way. Yeah, so for my figure, he has no loose joints. None of them are tight. And I really do like this. And uh, I have to say, he definitely looks very clean. I don't know what it is with Dragon Star figures, if it's just my luck, or if anyone else has been having this problem, but I find I'll buy them, you know, you buy them brand new, they're in their box, tape on it and everything, but yet, they'll have like, like, I don't know, dust, or some kind of like, some kind of dirty, dirtiness to it, and it kind of, it, it, uh, yeah, I don't like that, I don't know why it's there, if it's new inside a package, it shouldn't have that, you'd think they'd have quality control people. I actually bought a, for the same line, this one, or the same series, or the same wave. Yeah, so for the same series that this one is in, there's the Vegeta, uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta, but his, there was two of them at the store, and both of them, his uh, armor was kind of dirty. Uh, the one I picked up, I think he has a little bit of a stain over here, some kind of dust or something. And the other one at the store had it over here. Or maybe I bought the other one, I don't know. But they both, in different spots, had this gray kind of film on it. So I'm hoping that when I open the package, I'll just be able to wipe it off. But this one, nice and clean. Makes me happy. So let's talk about some details on this guy now. now we already went over the hair with a little bit of a shine to it. I do like his face, talking about the ripped clothes like we did, you saw that here. Now he also has on his pants this rip right here. Alright, well that's just been my review on Bandai's Dragon Star series, Ultra Instant Goku, sign. And if you know, if you have any comments, questions, feel free to leave them down below. And hey, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.